Now let's look at problem number 35. And problem number 35 has two parts to it. We want to evaluate this limit. Uh, the limit is x goes to 2 from the right of the square root of x minus 2. And then we also want to explain why the limit as x goes to 2 from the left of the square root of x minus 2 does not exist. So uh, there's a couple ways to think about this, but I'm going to go with the graphical way. Let's just look at the graph of this function. So let's graph it first. So square root of x minus 2 is kind of like the graph for square root x, except it shifted uh, to the right two units. So 1, 2, and then we get this square root of x graph. Okay, So this is what the graph would look like. Uh, if x is equal to 2, we actually do get this point here. Uh, but notice this doesn't have anything over here at all. And that's going to help us with part b. So once we see what the function looks like, we can easily evaluate this function. So we're saying, OK, what's the limit as x goes to 2? So as x gets close to 2, coming from the right-hand side. So as we come in from the right-hand side, we're getting closer and closer to some y value. What is that y value? In this case, the y value would be 0. So this limit is 0. And now the question in part b is, well, let's explain why the limit as x goes to 2 from the left of this square root doesn't exist. Well, is there any function over on the left-hand side of 2? There is no function over here to look at and say, what is the function getting close to as I come from the left? There is no function from the left. So I can't have a limit from the left when I don't have functional values on the left side of 2. So the reason this doesn't exist is that the function square root x minus 2 doesn't exist on the left side of x equals 2. 